Let's take a look at our first problem. Uh, we want to solve the absolute value of 5x minus 2 is equal to 6. So absolute value of 5x minus 2 is equal to 6. Now um, remember, for absolute value equations, we have a formula. And what it says is if um, we've got the absolute value of something is equal to something else, then we drop the absolute value and set it equal to the positive of the other side, and we set it equal to negative the other side. Now, I say absolute value of something is equal to something else because it is really is as vague as that. Uh, you can have anything here. The key is you have to have the absolute value by itself. No, no numbers in front of it, no numbers after it. So in this particular problem, what's inside the absolute value is our P, and the other side is our Q. If we just applied our formula, we'd have P is equal to Q, and P is equal to negative Q. So we got 5x minus 2 is equal to 6 and 5x minus 2 is equal to negative 6. Now these are linear equations at this point, so we'll just solve for x. So I'm going to take the negative 2 here and move it to the right side. So we've got 5x is equal to 6 plus 2, or 5x is equal to 8. And then divide both sides by 5. And we get uh, x is equal to 8 fifths. These uh, 5's cancel right here. Now let's do this one. Um, take the negative 2, move it to the right side. So we it become, becomes negative 6 plus 2. Remember when you take anything across equals, the sign changes. And negative 6 plus 2 gives us negative 4. Divide both sides by 5, what's in front of our x. And we get x is equal to negative 4 fifths. And those would be our answers. Um, 8 fifths, negative 4 fifths, 8 fifths, negative 4 fifths, B, B. So B would be your answer off that. Now, um, if you did have something of this form where the absolute value wasn't by itself, well, first thing you do is you'd get it by itself. So I'd take this 5 over, and that gives us 2 minus 5. And um, 2 minus 5 gives me a negative 3. <laughs> of course, I made up an oddball one, but that's okay. Then I divide both sides by 3. Because our goal, again, is to get the absolute value by itself. So we'd have the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to negative 1. Now, you can't have an absolute value equal to a negative number, so the answer to this one is actually no solution. Um, but I just wanted to show you an example of how to get the absolute value by itself.